Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to another challenge to spectate. Today, we are watching this LeBlanc player. Um, and we're doing a LeBlanc because I personally, as I've said a few times, I want to do variety in preseason. I've not seen a LeBlanc yet, uh, I don't think. So, uh, I saw that this player, pretty good at LeBlanc. Um, I might try to get their stats up just so we can have a little looky-looky. And if you're wondering, by the way, the act... Um, this is actually, it just arrived and I thought I'd try it on and I was like, let's just record. Uh, this is actually my Christmas gift from Twitch. Um, I don't know why, but I'm in one of the very select few streamers here in the UK that Twitch just really like. Um, so they've tw they've sent me posh biscuits before and they sent me a Twitch hoodie, um, or be beanie and a scarf and a card that says Huzzy Games, season greetings from Twitch. So it's really nice. And that's when sometimes I say, like, I'm not streaming right now. I'm making this video specifically for YouTube. But that's what I've said sometimes, that there is a difference of the platforms, that they one feels like it cares about you and one doesn't. YouTube would never do this for me, but Twitch does. So, and arguably, I'm supposed to be bigger on YouTube. But anyway, uh, LeBlanc, the champion. Uh, the player that we're watching, by the way, is currently not Challenger. They're Grandmaster, but they finished Challenger in Season 7, 8, and 9. Uh, 10, I don't know where they finished because it does it hasn't updated on the website that I'm using. Uh, but they're mainly a Syndra player, then Akali, then Silas, then LeBlanc, then Orianna, then Camille, then Lucian, then Zoe, then Rai. So, has a vast champion pool. Isn't like a one-trick or anything, so just a really good mid-lane, high-rating, basically challenger player here on EU West. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how they do. They're against Kale, who Kale at the moment is still too strong. Um, arguably, if you let Kale get a little bit okay into the game, you know, she's a ticking time bomb that if you don't beat her early, and that's kind of maybe why LeBlanc could be effective, um, she will eventually just take over the game with Nashers and Rift Maker, I think it is, uh, with also then, you know, she goes PTA in the early game now to just help her early game strength out, and now that Kale gets ranged at level 6, it's not that far until she gets, like, okay into the game to, in ranged form, but LeBlanc... LeBlanc is an interesting champion because obviously she's a mage, but she is a mage assassin. Uh, and like this season has kind of, you know, shown, the, the, it's kind of the age. It's weirdly, I think, League of Legends, the age of tanks and assassins. Normally those two don't go together. If, if, it's, if it's a tank meta, assassins can't do that well. But both of these groups of champions are doing quite good right now. Um, you know, I just finished a recording day. I played seven games of League. It went overall pretty good. Uh, there was a Kha'Zix, an Evelyn, an Echo, one of those champions in every game. Because um, that's just what the meta's become, especially in the jungle. Um, in this game, another Kha'Zix, and then on the um, the friendly team to the Blanc, a Udyr. Um I think the playstyle of Udyr, by the way, at the moment is AP Udyr. Meanwhile, enemy team advantage early, kill in bot lane, and Jace gets that kill on the Aurelia in the early game. So that's sad for the Aurelia. Um, good for the Jace. And I, by the way, may play a game of Jace very soon. I've been kind of, you know, I do pay attention some to some players, um, you know, who are known for Jace in the background because I love the champion, one of my favorites. He, as I've said many times, when I got Master, he was the champion that I used a lot to get Master. Um, and yeah, I, I kind of keep tabs on how is he doing. Uh, meanwhile, they are looking maybe for a dive on the Kale. Udyr's around. Kale's in trouble. Will she get the flash off? She flashes. Udyr flashing. LeBlanc flashes with them the W. And they will pick up the kill. But that was a, quite a big expense, obviously, for one kill. Two flashes. So if the enemy team can kind of make use of Udyr not having flash and LeBlanc not having flash, then it's questionable. But if they don't, then obviously it's it's worth. Um, and, you know, LeBlanc with flash, she will maybe not get that kind of... I don't know. Um, LeBlanc has a W, so she kind of has an inbuilt flash, if you want to say that. Very hard to kind of pin down. Uh, but Udyr, you can obviously make use of him not having flash. And I'll say Udyr is a champion. If you have any desire to play him, please take flash. Uh, the amount of Udyrs that I weirdly see take ghost. And he's so bad with ghost. Uh, like, oh, If you get really fed, then maybe it can work. But if you have ghost and Udyr, you can't get into objectives easily to steal them. Or even you're, then you're stuck in the objective pit. You can't get out. Um, you're a running champion anyway, so you have to run directly at someone to do anything and they can just stop you. Sometimes like there, the flash stun is really what's needed to, to actually get the kill. Um, so yeah, it, it really weirds me up when Udyrs don't do flash. But LeBlanc getting that early kill on Kale. You can see the farm, by the way, for Kale not doing too bad, considering Kale shouldn't really be able to farm early. She's even at this rate. 
Um, and that's mainly because the LeBlanc so far hasn't been really punishing the Kel. You notice the Blanc is fo focusing on farm. Now you can see the denial is starting to happen. But is it too late? Like, again, Kale is one level from level six. That's her range form. Meanwhile, levels uh, level five by uh, LeBlanc doing half health to the Kale, which is nice. The slight heal you saw there would have been, I think her W or her health potion was procced. Um, but maybe it's a bit too late for LeBlanc. Has she, like, beaten the Kale enough to make, you know, the use of LeBlanc early game? LeBlanc as a mage, for the most part, falls off later into the game. Like a lot of assassins, if they don't get assassination opportunities, they fall off. Meanwhile, level 6 gets hit by LeBlanc. She goes aggressive, but not much of it. She does then return the really nice play. Um, very sneaky with her W there that the Kale did not expect. Um, so that actually is going to make the Kale potentially back away because now she's in potentially kill range for the block if she's not careful and she is staying. The reason why this Kale is staying, and you can see, I just want to point out, this Kale is spam pinging this LeBlanc because she knows what's coming. If I do not get help, I'm about to get dove. And if you're wondering, why does she just go back, Huz? All this farm, you cannot give away, like what, this is minimum 10 farm in the early game. That's not just gold in the early game, which is important. That's experience. If you get a one level down, you know, deficit in mid lane, that is when snowballing happens. But this is the problem this LeBlanc has, uh, sorry, the Kale has. There's nothing she can do. Dead instantly. Because it's a lose-lose situation. She either stays and gets killed, or she stays, uh, so she leaves and misses all this farm. So it's a lose-lose situation, especially now that she died, because LeBlanc now gets a kill. She gets more farm, and Kale gets denied all this farm. Really what she needed there, and it was just unfortunate for her, she needed her jungler. Like, just flat out, she needed her jungler to be there, to just be pressuring, going, you can't dive, otherwise I'll kill you. But at that time, if you rewind, Kha'Zix on the minimap was visible. He was visible up in top lane, so LeBlanc could make that play without really feeling pressured at all. Uh, but while that was going on, by the way, it's not like everything was going bad. The Jace is 20 plus, like 20 odd farm ahead of the, the, the Aurelia and doing really well. So it's not the worst situation for blue team um, at all. Uh, Udid, oh, Udid does take the dragon, which is a good thing for the Udid to do. Um, objectors, 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 you know, still dragons are very strong in the game right now. Uh, LeBlanc will go back, though, gets a, a couple of early items and still, by the way, is going corrupting. And is a Dark Seal champion. So obviously Dark Seal got changed. Whether it's a nerf or not, it depends your definition of what you kind of miss with Dark Seal. Dark Seal gives more ability power with stacks, but it no longer gives the uh, increased healing from health potions. So that's where you used to see people like Singe rush two or three uh, Dark Seals. That's not a thing anymore. It got They got rid of the healing. Um, so... It got nerfed in that aspect, but it wasn't the healthiest aspect anyway. Meanwhile, the Kale, by the way, roamed with then the Bard. Ka I'm sorry, LeBlanc going aggressive will do a bit of damage to both champions, but nothing of it because there was not a new deer yet in the area. New deer, by the way, you can see on the minimap. He might be looking for a Jace, but wouldn't be surprised if he goes to do the Rift Herald pretty soon. Uh, my experience with the Udyrs for the most part is they're not that helpful in ganks. Uh, they're more about objectives. Dragons, Rift Herald, they'll, they'll get all of them, which is great, uh, but they're just not the most useful or consistent champion when it comes to ganks. And by the way, there, Udyr ganks the Jace, and he's dead. Please don't do this. So this, eve this is Grandmaster Challenger. Will the Aurelia manage to get this kill? She's now on the other side of the uh, safety net. Jace is also two levels above with blue buff now. Kha'Zix is bot lane, so thankfully the Aurelia shouldn't die because there is a fight happening in mid lane. Let's go back and watch that because I wasn't looking at the time. So here we go. So they're about to have a fight. So LeBlanc, I would presume, you know, also, by the way, two levels up, is going to go aggressive. Kel, you can see, is walking towards the W to where she would teleport away. Lovely chain by LeBlanc and gets the nice kill. But that wasn't easy, you know. She, that was a two level down Kale. That was quite a close fight. Uh, that does show you the strength of this champion. Like, no one should be close on killing somebody, arguably, if they're two levels down. Meanwhile, Aurelia dies again. So this game is not looking good for blue team at all. Uh, <clears throat> bot lane is going kind of mediocre for both. You know, Ezreal does have a slight farm lead, which is good. Ar arguably, that's because the bard has been roaming. Uh, Udyr's got a farm lead, but that's about it. Aurelia's really far behind. Jace is obviously far ahead. And mid lane... Yeah, the LeBlanc's ahead, but even that that fight was close. Like, that wouldn't fill me with confidence as a LeBlanc going, oh, that was easy, got that kill. No, that was actually quite close. 
Um, so, yeah. Meanwhile, though, that fills you with confidence. Bot lane gets a kill, um, kill down bot lane, and Udyr finally takes revenge on the Jace. I don't think he based, by the way, for a long time, staying a little bit more than he should, and Udyr made use of that and got the kill. Uh, Jace, though, now does have his completed Mythic, obviously first one in the game to complete that, and has gone for Eclipse. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm recording this video, and it's going to come out later today. Uh, but patch note video will be out later this week whenever I get patch notes. Uh, I, I'm guessing Eclipse might be getting nerfed, considering like how many champions are using the item. Practically every AD bursty champion, even AD carries, are using it. So surely it's probably going to get nerfed, or the other options have to get buffed. It depends which way they want to balance things. Riot, though, is notorious for nerfing instead of just flat out buffing. Um, but yeah. Because uh, it's the biggest complaint that a lot of AD carries have, is usually there's only two or three AD carries that are strong, and what Riot generally do is they just nerf those AD carries that are strong. Meanwhile, engaged by LeBlanc is happening. Uh, they just nerf them, and again, quite close fight. Uh, they nerf the champions that are strong, but they don't really o buff the, the ones that go weak. Why nerf them? If, if While three AD carries are strong, don't nerf them, just buff other AD carries, and then at least you have champions that are worth playing more in the role. Wow, Kha'Zix does get that kill. Bit surprising he got that. Udyr's coming in mid lane. Probably won't use a Rift Herald straight away. Um, may want his mid lane LeBlanc to get use of that gold if he's a good team player. But again, that solo kill that we just saw again, Kale versus LeBlanc, that was again, quite close. For a, for a LeBlanc that is one or two levels ahead, you can see that if this LeBlanc didn't get an early lead, this would not be going great for probably her. And the later this game goes, again... You, want, you don't want this game to go late. If already a Kale is kind of holding her own kinder against LeBlanc, it's very close. Later into the game, it will not be. Uh, meanwhile, big fight potentially breaking out. Udyr on the back for having to run away. Kale obviously already there. Kaisa ulting on her way through. Bard coming down with his ultimate. This is going to be pretty bad for red team. Bard does miss the stun though, and that will make them survive. LeBlanc though going to potentially do a massive clean. They're under the tower, then the Ezreal's in the area. Kale uses his ultimate's going to survive, but not probably for long. LeBlanc going to chase down with the Flash W. Then she probably will continue to see. Never mind. She might have looked for the Kha'Zix, who's now over here in the river. Damn, they were greedy. Blue team saw the opportunity to try and get back a little bit into this game, and they kind of went way too close to the tower. Ezreal's now having a fight with the Kha'Zix again. You don't want to be too close to him. And weirdly, that Ezreal ult missed. Meanwhile, Le Le Leona now coming in the area. Kha'Zix is opting to go right instead of left because he's got more of a chance of surviving just running at the Leona. Can the Leona stop this Kha'Zix in time? That is what she's planning on doing. Uh, Aurelia dies again. Flash happens, and they will pick up the kill just. So nice play by Leona there. Ezreal kind of flew a bit too close to the bug and he did end up dead. Um, but yeah, this game is already crazy. It's quite close. Can the Jace carry enough or can really LeBlanc at the moment carry enough? We will find out. Uh, but yeah, Kaiser, by the way, in that play, it looked good, but she has very little damage right now. Um, so obviously that we've always said, you know, the Mura Mana champions or Mana Mune champions... It takes them a while to actually get strong. And I, I actually think Ezreal Man Immune is stronger than Kaiser with Man Immune. And plus, Kaiser doesn't even have Man Immune yet. She went for the double pickaxe route. Um, but Ezreal's Qs are pretty... They hurt pretty much, like, uh, quite a lot. I would, I would wager that, you know, what Ezreal Q will probably do more than a Kaiser Q. Um, especially if the Kaiser Q isn't directly all going on you and it's split on a few targets. Um, yeah, not bad, though. LeBlanc, though, by the way, has upgraded to Medjai Soul Steal Up. So... This is the type of champion LeBlanc is, you know. I wouldn't really recommend Magi's or many champions, but you could wager a LeBlanc that isn't snowballing is going to fall off quite badly. So you may as well try to buy... If you're having an okay game, you may as well buy Magi's and try to snowball as much as you can. Uh, meanwhile, though, Jace gets another kill. Bot lane having a big play. Udyr dies, so advantage to blue team, but LeBlanc is roaming. What can she do? A W is probably over here. Nothing yet, because they're under the tower. They've gone completely to safety. Never mind, she finds the bard. Kha'Zix is stealthing into the lane. Again, still a very problematic champion for me personally is Kha'Zix right now. Meanwhile, LeBlanc is on the back foot. Look at the Kha'Zix damage. He just flat out one shot her. How is that okay? Like, it's it's not okay um, to just completely one shot people with one item. Like, it, it's not okay. Uh, unfortunately, though, that, that death for LeBlanc, by the way, reset her back to three stacks of Magi's. 
So that's not good. Uh, Aurelia, I, I don't know what's happening in top lane. Obviously, it, it kind of seems that she is continuously fighting the Jace willingly. And she's three levels down. So even this happens. And this is also why I love doing these videos. Because you'll be in silver or gold. And you're like, dude, high rating is definitely better. For every single reason. Because they don't have that top laner that keeps losing. And they'll keep fighting. No, it does, we do. High rating does have this kind of problem. Um... It's the human element of the game. That will never go away. People get tilted in every rating. Right, LeBlanc going to do a bit more wave clear. And the one thing I will say about LeBlanc that I've always noticed is LeBlanc people, they're the mains or champ people that play LeBlanc, they're never, and I know it's rich for me to say this, but they're never the best at farming. Because she is such an intensive snowball champion relies on kills, I never see them do that well with farm. Meanwhile, they're springing a trap for the Kha'Zix, double stun by the Leona. Lovely... Follow up by the uh, LeBlanc there, and they will pick up that kill on the Kha'Zix. And a small shutdown too, so that's always a nice thing. They're going to take the Scuttle Crab, and obviously that did give LeBlanc double buffs. Don't know where the Kale has gone. Um, she's now, okay, there she is, back in mid lane. Kale has completed a Nashes, so that's going to be a small power spike, or not small, big power spike really for Kale. Even the nerfed version of this item is quite good, because again, it gives 100 ability power. That's a lot for an item that isn't that expensive. And also... 50% oh this could be the moment jace gets caught big shutdown a oh, bit little shutdown actually he died recently uh, but that that's a big deal that's the fed person in the team it's his job to try and carry this game he is absolutely wrecked his lane really and he just casually walks into the enemy you know his territory actually and gets caught so that is where it can go bad for something like this jace meet oh that was a really weird leona -y. leblanc is coming though she jumps straight into a kazix look at that damage it's ridiculous and that wasn't even isolated damage, it didn't look like. That was just pure Kha'Zix damage. Uh, Kha'Zix can go in. Bard Ultimate coming through. Udyr gets a stun, having to flash away. And is now completely on the back foot. Udyr, by the way, has gone for the Sunfire. So he's going Phoenix, but he's going Sunfire. Le Leona looking for the kill. Not sure she's going to get it. Kale Ultimate comes through, saving the Bard. Probably, well, arguably, even saved him. Questionable play by Kale, but she will flash away. Jace goes back to top lane and will pick up a kill. And it's an ace for blue team. An ace of blue team looking really bad for them now. That's not good at all. Uh, the one thing I will say though, as someone that obviously loves Jace, I've never found Jace as incredible scaling. Like his scaling isn't the worst, but it's not the best. Um, I think it's very hard for a Jace to carry late game. I think by that point his damage falls off. But I will say, I haven't played too much Jace in preseason with the new items. Maybe that's changed. But I doubt it. Anyway, LeBlanc returning to mid is going to try her best to just stop the Kha'Zix. Oh, wonderful chain on the Kha'Zix under the tower. We'll get the kill. And then the double kill with then the Bard. That was really well played. Getting the chain hit to get the Kha'Zix. Obviously, he also has an edge of night. So she had to deal with his spell shield as well. That was really solidly played. She also got Bard's Ignite, by the way, and didn't die. So you're getting summoners and you're not letting anything bad technically happen. Kaiser might go again for that, maybe. And worth also noting, did Kaiser back out of the tier build? Meanwhile, a potential pick is happening. LeBlanc coming through is going to pick up that kill. Jace is in the area, though, which is bad for the Udyr. Don't think he's going to get away from this one and he will go down to the Kaiser. I'm nearly convinced that Kaisa had a tear and she's backed away from that build because she probably felt like she was too weak. That's my guess. Uh, she does care by the W, but the Kaisa's out of range. LeBlanc, uh, sorry, Aurelia in this time is managing to get a bit of farm. But, you know, now she's potentially dead again uh, because of the overstay. And yeah, by the way, you might be like, Huzz, she went Blade of the Ruin King first. She didn't go a, a mythic item and she's dead again. Uh, for the most part, yeah, uh, whenever I've seen Aurelia's in, in preseason, they do play the Ruin King first. Um, I don't know why, like, maybe there just is, it's the better option, it's giving her the slow with blade. Does that give us the, blow, the blade still? Uh, no, it doesn't, I guess. So the new Blade of the Ruin King is 10% current physical damage on hit, and after attacking three times, deal magic damage and just spe steal their movement speed. So it allows an Aurelia to stay on a target longer, but it no longer has the active that you press, and it just slows somebody directly. So that's interesting. Meanwhile, they're looking top lane to fall probably the Jace. He is on the back foot, but the Udyr and LeBlanc is chasing him down. Ezreal does get the kill on Kai'Sa. Uh, LeBlanc avoids a lot of the Jace damage, and this will be a dead Jace. Nice play by LeBlanc and Udyr. But yeah, Udyr, by the way, um, it's AP Udyr. 
kinda. It's like tank APU deer. So he's going um, still the Sunfire because the item is still pretty strong. It also does magic damage. Uh, but he's going Lich Bane next. And that I've seen that build myself. Um, one of them was unfortunately I had a top laner that did it and he died I think 12 times but he was kind of trolling. LeBlanc now with the Zonyas by the way quickly gets the kill, avoids the Bard ultimate as well. Dragon by the way is up and the jungler's just died so can Red Team make use of that? Not sure with Udyr's health. LeBlanc looking aggressive, does bait out the Kale ultimate and nothing terrible is going to come from that. But now can they try to get the infernal dragon is the big thing jace is most likely on his way down to the dragon if i had to guess leblanc looking aggressive but not really going to get anything more than that little bit of damage on the bard and udir even though he's quite low straight on that dragon uh, i think they really should try to do this as quick as possible because there's the kale who somehow ended up in the dragon pit but there's the kaiser they do get the kale Udyr, Leona, insanely amount, insane amount of CC, but he will go down. LeBlanc, unfortunately, just wasn't in the area. And LeBlanc, no, Aurelia, sorry, will pick up that kill. Dragon now being done. Kha'Zix is alive, so it's a bit risky. This could be stolen, but looking maybe not. LeBlanc does finish it, and they will get the dragon. So that's pretty good. Infernal Dragon, nicely done. They do find a Jace. Are they going to go for him? He does go for the double. Look at the Jace damage, by the way. Is not going to kill anybody, but it was so close. A bet Aurelia. I was about to say, I bet Aurelia wanted that kill, but she will get the assist with the Ezreal. But yeah, Jace nearly one-shot two people. <clears throat> Kha'Zix in the area, Leona stuns, will go down. Will Kha'Zix continue? Probably not. They will also get the bot lane tower low, and that will most likely be the end of that. Absolutely crazy Fiesta game. Gold-wise, blue team still has the advantage by about 2,000 gold, and the kill advantage by two. Um, but you know, let's be honest, LeBlanc is 16-3. She's having a fantastic game. Gold-wise, she's on 12.3k gold versus the 7.2 of K uh, Kale. Um, bot lane's even. You can see the AD carries have even gold. Jungle is heavily advantaged into the Kha'Zix and obviously top lane as well. So it's going to be a hard game. This LeBlanc is obviously the main carry. What sh can she do? And again, it's the ticking time bomb of a Kale is going to scale. And a LeBlanc, arguably, is going to fall off. Um, maybe a Baron play is in order for, for red team if they feel they can use LeBlanc enough for the Baron. Or will the, ba will the blue team feel cocky to go for Baron and they're going to like fluff it up? I will say again, I've not watched this video. This is the first time I'm watching this match. So I do not know how the outcome happens. But LeBlanc is heading potentially to bot lane. I think we just saw Jace down there. And uh, yeah, LeBlanc versus Jace is going to be interesting if, you know, LeBlanc can even get that kill. Uh, I think a lot of it may depend on the Edge of Night. But a teleport play is happening. Baron may actually... Yes, Baron is being done. So I, I, it was kind of like Baron was maybe the call for what Blue Team wanted to do. But this could be also a throw. So is this a way for Red Team to get into it? Udyr stun. Relia goes down. The Kale ultimate saves the Kha'Zix just. Bard ultimate doesn't hit anybody. Leona Holt does hit a couple people. And now the Blue Team is on the back foot. LeBlanc coming in. Will get the kill on Bard. Kaisa now in trouble in the middle of the fight. LeBlanc trying her best. Jace though obviously killed the Aurelia. Is going aggressive. LeBlanc looking aggressive. Does get one kill. Get, does get two. Kha'Zix was still alive by the way. But triple kill for LeBlanc. The fight will probably continue a little bit. They're probably in this bush. There's Jace. Kha'Zix is over to the, to the right basing. LeBlanc will not pick up a kill yet. But she backs away all the way over here. Udyr versus Kha'Zix not even close. Ooh, Kha'Zix nearly killed LeBlanc then by the way. If his Q went off. LeBlanc is potentially in trouble. Jace also will be in this general area. But a teleport has happened. Aurelia is back. We couldn't see the teleport because the bug. Aurelia misses the stun. But then that means Kha'Zix has used his jump to avoid it. And that will get him killed ultimately. So crazy fight. I think LeBlanc got like... What well, did she get that kill? Like four kills in that fight. Uh, making her 23... 20... 3-3. Three, three. By the way, yes, also full stacks of Magi's by this point. Um, so that's making a very strong item. That It's giving uh, 125 bonus ability power. So it's actually giving 145 bonus ability power, this item, with also 10% move, move speed because she has over 10 stacks. It's a very strong item when it has stacks. Um, hence, it's, you know, but it, it's the risk of you can lose that strength with dying. Um... But yeah, that's, it's the snowballing item. That's what it's for. She's got Deathcap, Ludens, obviously, Zonyas, Medjai, and Brightling Jewel. I think, could be wrong because new items. I think that's Void Staff. I think she's building into a Void Staff. It would make sense to me. Um, if she does that, 
uh, because again just to make sure she can break through the enemies any defenses that they potentially have and she is probably going to look quite aggressive level 16 may be a good thing for her to get though i'm surprised that she's not really trying to get that she's close to level 16 and here we go what can she do she gets the the double ult she will get the kill legendary one shots the kaiser she did get damage return though leblanc uh, sorry leona going aggressive does get the nice play on the kazix he's nearly dead leblanc gonna go aggressive even though she's low Kazix gets the kill on Leona. Jace now on the back foot, though, is probably going to go down himself. Udyr, very tanky. LeBron has to be careful. He's getting autoed by the Jace. The EQ. Oh, my God. That was sick. The LeBlanc W'd back to avoid the Jace Q. It got her killed, but it baited two people to go for the LeBlanc, and that's what got them killed. Advantage red team heavily, and now that might be breaking more into mid. Baron is a maybe, but with Jace still alive, arguably, and Kha'Zix is a bit much, too much of a risk. Yeah, Kha'Zix didn't die in that, I don't think, which is nuts. Dragon will be spawning within less than a minute, so maybe LeBlanc, they'd wait for her and Leona. And by the way, Leona's been doing pretty well this game too, so, you know, a shout out to supports. You guys are, a lot of you obviously are, unfortunately, ignored sometimes by, like, how well you're doing. I do, I do try my best to note if a support is doing well. If you guys remember a few episodes ago, we... Oh, were the enemy team doing Baron? And then the Rakan that we had in one of our games was fantastic. Oh my god! The steal of Baron has happened. Oh, F for the enemy team. That's such a big deal because they get the Baron. They get the Dragon. And now the enemy team is going to be sitting there with really big, unhappy faces. Wow. That was a great Ezreal ultimate. But arguably, yes, great Ezreal ultimate. But why was Kha'Zix not getting that? His Q, even Kazix's Q would be probably better than Ezreal ult more damage with how fed he is. But also no smite was used. Meanwhile, they will get the kill Leona does on the Kaiser. But one thing is worth noting. You guys can see how squishy this LeBlanc is. In every fight that she's a little bit closer to the enemy team, she is dying or nearly dying. And that was a Kaiser who is not that strong. Nearly just owning a LeBlanc who is very fed. So that is also the risk of LeBlanc. She is what literally the definition of glass cannon. In, in World of Warcraft, a glass cannon mage is what it is. It, 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 you know, it's a cannon that does so much damage, but it's made out of glass. One little dink, it's, it's blown up. It's dead. That's what LeBlanc is. Um, you know, very high damage output when she's doing well, but can practically get killed at any moment as well. <clears throat> so they're going to go down mid lane with the Baron buff. A Bard actually could be in trouble here. Ezra ultimate comes through, gets rid of the edge of night because it's, he is looking again the kill. Oh, wow. So again, League of One Shots does ring true. Kaz is nearly one shot LeBlanc, but LeBlanc one shots him. Engage is happening. Bad Bard and Kale combo. Arguably worse Kale ultimate because Bard already used his. They will break into the base though. Now with the momentum. With the Kazakhs dead, who's obviously very fed. The Jace couldn't do enough. He's going to die. Aurelia getting revenge on him, and I bet that felt good. We've done a bit of damage output. LeBlanc getting other kills, and that will be most likely the game. So LeBlanc is going to finish roughly 224 for 6 if nothing else happens. And she carried this game. Her damage output was nuts. So this is LeBlanc. LeBlanc is part of what I do call League of One-Shots. She does one-shot people, but I don't think she's as consistent as the other league of one shot members even within mages like leblanc has to do well in the early game she has to snowball that's why she's also a magi champion yes when she's ahead when she does games like this fantastic but when she gets behind oh it's 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 hard to watch leblanc that gets behind because she really doesn't do that much but that is gonna be it that was k i'm um, sorry leblanc haven't really seen her in preseason so i thought we'd kind of have a little look at her now uh, the next champion that i'm planning on having a trying to find is rise because again the rod of ages champions have they been impacted i don't think cassadin has been impacted that badly rise is a rod of ages champion and then i'm waiting on the little rework for anivia and then i'll cover anivia uh, but i'll probably play anivia myself i'll probably uh give her a go but that's gonna be it if you guys enjoyed please do a throw a like on the video throw a comment throw a subscribe see you guys next time peace